Good morning everyone, my name is Michelle, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to another video, it is Friday morning the 29th of November. We're going to talk about the Sebastian Rogers case today, but I won't keep you very long with this shiny new update from the At Night Intelligence Agency that, you know, Court TV talk about like they are a legitimate organisation. I have no idea what they are, but they are aligned with Dog the Bounty Hunter. Okay, so if you've been following the case, you know the story. Dog the Bounty Hunter is on the search, probably from a nice comfortable armchair. They uh, periodically appear on Court TV because Court TV are lapping this up. So it did surprise me when I logged on this morning and there was no Sebastian Rogers update from Court TV. Maybe the schedule didn't allow it. Maybe they're going to do it tonight or tomorrow night or whenever because there's this critical lead that the At Night Intelligence Agency are reporting. Shall we talk about it? All right then. So this is the post here on Twitter. Public update on the search for Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers, November 28th, 2024, which was yesterday. Happy Thanksgiving to all of those over the little puddle that we call the Atlantic Ocean. But here's the critical lead. We are still working to identify an individual seen in the vicinity of Texas Roadhouse in Hendersonville on February 25th, 2024, between 5.30pm and 10pm. This person briefly interacted with Sebastian's mother. Shock, horror, in an exchange lasting under one minute. I had an interaction lasting under one minute with someone, some random person this morning while I was out for a walk. I hope they don't like disappear or drop down dead or something because, you know, I might be accused. Of course I'd go forward to the police and say what I saw or would I? Because that didn't work out very well for Richard Allen, did it? So I'm deeply suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. Anyway, Sebastian appeared to recognise this individual, but did not wave or engage. An unusual behaviour for him, according to his family. So when we say according to his family, we mean according to his father, Seth, because that's the only family member that Dog the Bounty Hunter and the At Night Intelligence Agency believes is innocent. Chris and Katie Proudfoot, well... <laughs> The writing's on the wall, isn't it, for them, according to Doug the Bounty Hunter. So it's an unusual behaviour for him. Why? What does he normally do when he greets people? What does he normally do? Run over and greet them and hug them and want to talk to them? If he does, that's behaviour in itself that's quite concerning. If he's out and about, which we know that he does on his own, and he's overly friendly towards people, then pedos have got the way in, haven't they? They've got the way in to befriend them, which is a problem, given that Sebastian walked around in the neighbourhood on his own. If he's overly friendly, it's not victim blaming or anything like that, I'm just saying if he's overly friendly, then it gives a pedo the way in without having to start to befriend them. All right, the individual waved goodbye, but Sebastian's lack of response has only deepened concerns about this critical moment. So where has this information come from? Has this come from a lead? Has this come from CCTV? We know that uh, Sebastian was on camera at the Texas Roadhouse as he was leaving. So is this someone from Texas Roadhouse who's giving this tip in? Is it from another customer who was leaving at the same time? How come we've never heard of this before until now? Is it because some random person has rung a dog's tip line and just given a load of baloney? Or is it information that the cops have known since day one and they've discounted it? since day one because maybe that person was asking Katie something completely innocent maybe they were just exchanging pleasantries 
But if the cops have known about it since day one and have discounted it, well, it's completely irrelevant, isn't it? I happen to believe that Sebastian's trip to the Texas Roadhouse was nothing other than dinner out. And then Katie and Sebastian went home. Apparently, there is CCTV footage from the camera across the road from Sebastian's house, and you see Sebastian taking out the trash. Now, I know people are going to say, yeah, but that wasn't clear. That could be Katie dressed up in a Sebastian suit. Okay, could be. All right. But this person may hold important information about the events leading to Sebastian's disappearance. Identifying and speaking with them remains a priority in our ongoing efforts to bring him home. Well, if I was that person, the last person I'd want to contact would be Dog the Bounty Hunter because, you know, you'd be suspect number one. And this guy doesn't have an off switch, does he? If you've gone to the cops saying what you saw or the cops have contacted you because you were on CCTV or you were, you know, seen at the Texas Roadhouse, then you don't need to do anything. If it so happens that the cops don't know about this, so what? (laughs) Because if Sebastian just walked on by and then that person walked on by, There's no critical lead at all, is there? Someone exchanges pleasantries. Anyway, description of the individual. What they were wearing, a distinctive olive or military green hoodie with the following features. Okay, how you can help. Well, how you can help with any tip is not go to Dog the Bounty Hunter. That's the very last thing that you could do to help. Contact the TBI at 1-800-TBI-FIND or the Sumner County Sheriff's Office at 615-451-3838. That's what you can do to help. Also, you can stop believing this nonsense. In my opinion, allegedly, this is a non-subject. Sebastian remains missing. It's my belief that Sebastian walked away of his own volition. That's always been my belief. What happened after that and the reasons why he did that, I don't know. I don't know. But I think he left that house on his own. Dogs tracked him. Max, the German shepherd, tracked him all the way to the retention pond and dove right into the water, according to his handler. And then there was a bloodhound and a blue tick coon hound, which also followed the same track. And days later, there was another dog, breed currently unknown, from a different team who also tracked the same track to the retention pond. So what happened then? Did Sebastian fall down an open manhole? Apparently, this system has been checked. However, that's what they said in the Caleb Harris case. And he was a grown-ass man. And, what, four months later, there he was. Or did Sebastian meet someone? Did Sebastian arrange to meet someone when he was talking to people in the hours and hours and hours and hours, he was left alone at his dad's Seth's house where he had free reign of the internet. So did he meet someone there? If he's unusually friendly, well, Seth should have been very careful of that because we know that just being neutral, (laughs) that's a deep concern to his family. So if Sebastian had met someone via an online means, well, who should you be looking at to say you should have been more careful with an overly friendly kid? Huh? Not Chris and Katie, is it? No. Okay. So did he meet someone? Did they pick him up from the retention pond? There's a way from Ward Lane for that to have happened. I've talked about this, all of this, many times. Or is there no one else involved at all whatsoever? Sebastian just went for a walk and something horrible befell him. Or did he intend to run away? I've been watching Dollyvision, who found a camp. Looks like somewhere that a teenager might hang out. Candy wrappers, juice bottles, that kind of thing. You know, not your normal homeless camp. Is that Sebastian? Well... 
if it is, how's he been getting that stuff? How's he been getting the candy wrappers? How's he been getting the, you know, juice? Where have the claws come from? I don't know where that location is. Dolly Vision rightly has not disclosed the exact location as far as I know. Uh, it's been turned into the TBI. It's interesting. I happen to think maybe it's just kids just going sitting there. I don't personally think it's to do with Sebastian. But it's a good find and it's worth consideration. This, however, from Dog the Bounty Hunter, I don't think that's critical at all, in my humble opinion. But what do you say? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Shut up.